Welcome to the Terrible Take, a mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Joe Clark. The national media as a whole needs to stop making so many lists and polls ranking various different player accomplishments from where they rank in their position to where they rank all time to, you know, at this point it's like ranking what they had for lunch yesterday. I get it. It's the dead period of the NFL calendar. There's nothing going on. You have to get creative. You have to find and create things to write about. The creativity isn't making lists or rankings that have been made a million times before. What set me off today was the 33rd team's ranking of the best 11 safeties in football. Last July, the 33rd team ranked the best 11 safeties in football. What has changed between last July and this July that a new ranking needs to be made? Like that nothing has changed that all of a sudden a year later you have to go and reevaluate the best eleven safeties in football. And somehow Troy Palomalo fell four spots and Donnie Shell fell, I think, four spots too. I mean Troy Palomalo's been playing NFL snap in eight years, Donnie Shell a lot longer than that. It, it doesn't make any sense. And nobody who jumped them on the list is like somebody who had a like you know great year last year. There's nobody currently that is on like look, what are we doing? And I will say, like some some of these some of these lists and these polls are better than others. I like ESPN series, honestly, ranking the best players by position because it's not just some guy's opinion. Uh, it's a survey of coaches, executives, and scouts, and it feels more put together. Actually, offers some good insight. Sometimes there's a good quote there from you know a coordinator, a personnel director, whoever. It's not just you know some guy throwing together a list of here are my seven best nose tackles. Which and hey, there's nothing wrong with that necessarily, but we just don't need some of these lists as often as we have them. I mean, we're at the point where we're ranking like player comebacks, like player coming back from injury, player coming back from, you know, illness, like Teddy Bruschi or Eric Berry, like it, fine, good, okay, fine, whatever you want to rank it, but you're going to put like John Riggins who came back from a holdout ahead of Rocky Blyer who came back from, you know, being permanently disabled and won four Super Bowls after, you know, losing part of his foot to gunfire and shrapnel from the Vietnam War. And, you know, we put that just worked on his farm for a year. Like, well, it's just, it, it's just the oversaturation of them just makes them so dumb. Like, it just we have to try to create content and you're just doing so many of them that you just lose track of what actually makes sense. So it doesn't make sense. It's just beyond ridiculous. And like, I'm fully aware that it shouldn't bother me. It's just, you know, one guy's opinion. And it really doesn't bother me as much as it's just so frustrating to see just the inconsistencies and just the pure stupidity of these lists that just don't make sense. But at least we have training camp in, you know, two less than two weeks now. Uh, it's going to be a wild ride, going to be a lot to talk about. Uh, it's going to be busy, but we won't have to dissect random lists for another year. And I can't say I'm too upset about that. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Check out the Terrible Podcast with Alex Kazor and Dave Bryan every Tuesday and Friday. A couple good episodes this week to check out for sure. Go Steelers.